Our next topic is uh, how do we check the length of a file on the mainframe. So this is very important uh, like when we have the file name and you wanted to check the uh, data record the length or the file length whenever you're working with that particular file on the mainframe right so normally what you do you transmit the file from mainframe uh, system to the window system or any of the databases that you wanted to load the data in from the mainframe to the data warehouse right so it is very important to check the length and based on the length you'll be defining uh, the fee uh, the total size of the record and set of properties that is required for either for extract or transferring or load so what do you do uh, when you perform this task right so how do we check this length on the mainframe or so first let me connect to the mainframe environment yes I'm I'm here I'm here connected to the mainframe environment let let me take the file name that is uh, order one yeah this is the file name we have so how do we go uh, and check it 3.4 and here if you type the file name here and then press enter and here in the command uh, column just type it as s s will show the properties of the file and press enter so here you can see uh, the total size of the properties of the uh, of the file so this is called as a PS PS stands for physical sequential file as I have mentioned in my earlier tutorial and record format is a fixed block that is the length is fixed okay and the record length is 80 bytes so this is what we needed now this is what we needed so this way we can identify the length of the input file that you are receiving from the mainframe system okay got it so why this is useful so sometimes when you when you have the data into your system and uh, when you are not sure about what the length it is then how do you validate right sometimes there may be an errors coming up when you are doing a, a transformation or extracting the data from these files so there may be a, some record mismatch your output record is some length and your input record is some other length right so better if you want to check the record length of the file so just log into the maintenance system and see the source file name from where it is coming just check open the file and just check it a what is a record length and it is a what format it is, is it a fixed block or a variable block okay